Hello, everyone. I'm Esther Vida, and welcome to another Empower Yourself with Britta Dubell segment. Today, we are going to talk about anger. Hello, Britta. Hello, Esther, and hello, everybody who's watching. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is a really big one, and you know, every week we have powerful topics uh, that we try to take on. But this one is one that is universal. Um, and as we were talking about it before, Britta, this is one that, you know, it's it's okay to have. It's really about management. Mm -hmm. It really is. It really is. Um, and, I, and I do want to um, just reconfirm that anger is a very normal, a very healthy emotion. And um, anger is actually something that can turn into positive. You know, it can actually create positive change, right? So sometimes when people have that Popeye moment, right? And when people get upset and this, I've had enough, mm -hmm. right? And they have this like, ah, I can't take it anymore. You know, that is often the catalyst for change. Mm -hmm. Right, so so anger can very well propel positive outcome, mm -hmm. positive change. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid of anger. <laughs> and I get angry. And, and, and that's, that's okay. So let's talk about the two extremes, uh, Britta, because last yes. week we had someone on Screencast ask whether you ever got angry, and on the yes. other extreme. Uh, there are people that just are always angry. They're always bitter and they're always mad about something. So let's talk, you know, first of all, again, you two get angry. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> um, how, do you, how do you express anger? Um, so... I have learned to communicate my anger. And that is really the key to anger in itself, right? Um, to, to learn to communicate it assertively, right? Um, and so, first of all, when the anger happens, when something happens, um, often there is a pretty good reason mm. for why we may feel angry. Right. So I'm not talking about the extremes right now. Right. I'm just talking about the, 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 you know, regular occurrences. And so now something happens that makes me angry. Right. So now I can feel it. Right. I can feel it in my body. I can feel the heat. Mm -hmm. I can feel the oh, Right. Flash. I can feel the thoughts that are wanting to. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can feel the thoughts that want to point the finger. Right. Mm -hmm. And so this is when um, this is when I now have learned it is through practice to okay all right feeling angry so I know to to you know take my minute or two with myself to just breathe through it mm -hmm. because I know what happened I know what triggered me I know what got me angry and um, you know so it can become a very quick process if we really stay on top of it mm -hmm. right. And um, going through, okay, this is how I'm feeling, like taking a few deep breaths. And then very quickly, I'm able to assess for myself, okay, now, why was I getting angry? And what needs to be communicated, mm -hmm. right? What are my needs? What was making me feel this way and why, right? And so to, to learn to actually sit with somebody and look at them, and express from my point of view what happened and what upset me and, and what made me feel this way. Mm -hmm. And to also then offer a solution, right? Because as soon as we um, attack somebody or come at somebody aggressively, right? People go into defense. It's never, ever going to work out. But if we offer my perspective and then offer solution, and ability to talk about it and find understanding, um, this is most likely going to create much success and growth and um, everything you're actually looking for. 
Now, the reality is, Britta, uh, that not everyone can compose themselves and breathe through it like you. Um, and anger can feel like it's coming out of nowhere and it slaps you and then you react. And for a lot of people, I would venture to say that it's very difficult to control. And we want to outwardly react immediately. Um, and, 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 you know, a lot of people may say, um, hey, you know what? It makes me feel better when I outwardly react like that. What do you say to that? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, there was a time when people or psychology for a moment was saying that, yes, there is a positive aspect to letting it rip, right? Letting it all hang out. But um, it, it really isn't. It really isn't because um, it doesn't benefit anybody. Um, it doesn't offer solution. It, it really makes everybody feel bad. And it really, um, the person that loses their temper, the person that lets it rip, right? Mm -hmm. They actually, it's just that quick fix, mm -hmm. right? It's that quick fix. But in the long term, A, they're going to feel bad about it themselves. B, they're going to be looked at as somebody who does not have control over themselves. Yes. Right. And so, um, you know, it's that it's that old parable of the captain on a ship. Right. There's the captain on a boat on the ship and and uh, there is danger ahead. And so, you know, if the captain loses his shit, <laughs> everybody is going to freak out. Yes. Right. Yes. But if the captain is going to know what to do, everybody's going to feel safe. So, you know, same thing with anger. And um, to, to um, have that quick fix, momentary, feel good, um, you know, it, it, really, it really doesn't work. You know, in the long run, it really doesn't work. You know, work. I, I think you're absolutely right because I just think of myself the few times, and, and of course, you, you lash out immediately to the people you love and closest to you. So, you know, the few times that I may lash out or back or whatever, and my mom or sisters, there's a little guilt feeling that that follows. Like, ooh, now I was I spoke badly, or and and then I reevaluate sometimes, Berta, why I responded, and most of the times they were not good reasons. Yes, 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 absolutely. And um, so, so there are some other parts to anger, right? But I want to come back to what you were asking me just like a few minutes ago about the extremes, right? And so um, we all have a certain ability that we are born with. Um, you know, so some of us are a little, you know, more sensitive to tension or frustration than others. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, some of us are also more wired to, to think negatively or think aggressively or think, um, right? Yeah. Going after somebody. And, uh, and some of us, so that's the one extreme. And then we also have some of us who are wired that, that take it inside that are taught to, you know, you, know, you, you can't show, don't feel that, don't, you know, anger is bad. And, um, and so they just stuff it, stuff it, stuff it away. And, um, and so those people, that's the other extreme, they, then it's that that um, that volcano. One day they're just gonna Erupt. explode, yeah. right? Because because you can only stuff it away for so long, um, or um, you know the the anger that they're stuffing away, all the emotion is gonna start eating yeah. away at them, you know. And that's when people are chronically negative and are chronically um, frustrated, and tense, right? And and just jumpy and um you know that's where depression often comes from oh. that's even where disease and illness comes from yes you know it's from not correctly expressing because it takes emotion. a lot of energy to keep that inside of you to keep a lid on it like you said a volcano um it, and i'm guessing and physically 
possibly backaches, headaches um, uh, that could be associated with this. And so, um, Britta, you, you know, you're a big, you already spoke about the breathing and, and we talk about the breathing so many times that it's whatever is happening. The important thing is that you take a few seconds and breathe. But what other tools yes. can people have yes. uh, when they can yes. just feel like... <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the extremes, right? This is for the, 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 the ones amongst us that go nuts, that, that yell, that get aggressive, that rah, right? <laughs> and we're saying this I, with I've a smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, because, you know, when you look back, even when you will look back at yourself, you know, at some point it's kind of funny, you yes. know, but really it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously if this is your tendency you know that this is your tendency right um, if you know that this is your tendency you are aware of that this is something you want to focus on this is something you want to work with yourself so there are a few great little tools um, that we can work with. And because we all have different sensory, I'm just going to name off a few options. You may like all of them. You may just like one or two, right? Try them out yes. because everybody responds differently. So here it goes. So, right? Something, ooh, triggers you and you start feeling it. And, Okay, so first, always breath. Now, next, what you could have on your desk is one of these little squeezing ah, cushions. Ah, very good. Right? Or, you know, somewhere, you know, around the house or wherever you are, right? That's what they're made for. So you have an activity to focus on, right? It's all about shifting the focus. Yes. And again, we're not, we're not ignoring yes. or denying what you're feeling it's just to bridge it so you can revisit it just in a few minutes in a much more empowered much more strengthened much more respectful way to yourself yeah. right good one yeah okay so we have the squeezing mm -hmm. cushion then of course we also have the um you can squeeze the cushion while you're imagining yourself in your happy place mm -hmm. Of course, a lot of people. A lot of people have like a punching bag. That too. You know, to like <laughs> right. Get that. Get that. <laughs> uh, out. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yes. Um, well, of course, you know, you could jump up and down. You could, you know, you could do all sorts of things if if it's really in your body, yeah, yeah. right? Um. Some people respond very well to scent. So if you want to keep a little lavender bottle, you know, some, um, some like a little oil with lavender oil and that's a good tip. smell it and breathe it and, and, and positive affirmation as you're breathing it. I'm okay. Let's relax. Everything is okay. Just relax. Mm -hmm. Just relax right as you're breathing it right so that's another way um or my favorite way <laughs> would be um you could sing a little tune to yourself really something like i feel pretty <laughs> oh so pretty i feel pretty and witty and gay <laughs> remember anger management oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> now listen right up I love that song. Yeah. I love your ideas. But I'm just thinking, you know, I'm a woman, okay, I, 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 that's something. Now we're talking about some of the guys watching this and they're like, take the, you know, throw the punch, you know, whatever. And they're not very likely, I would guess, uh, to be singing those songs. Um, yeah. But, and, and I have actually researched this and I have spoken to many people, with many people about this. It's, um, it's actually more popular with the guys mm. than with the girls yeah. because, because it, is, it is so 
you know, strange for a man to sing to himself, I feel pretty, <laughs> I'm so pretty, right? To actually do that, that it almost immediately will put a smile on your face. Wow, Britta. And it will almost immediately take you out of the extreme. See, what we're looking here is just to get you out of the extreme. Yes. So you can just, okay, all right. You can feel good about yourself. You didn't get up. You didn't blow your lid, right? Mm -hmm. And then from here, you can now look at, okay, what needs to be communicated. Yes. yes. Because in the end, it always comes back to communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is the key with stored anger too. So many people have so much stored anger because things weren't expressed. Mm -hmm. Britta, let me just go back to, to the song. First of all, amazing. I always learn something new, but, but the, the singing one and the boy and, and men, that makes a lot of sense. And as we're talking about this, I'm just imagining starting to do that. And I would just crack myself up. I would just start laughing right? like, are you kidding me? Are you really singing this? <laughs> but one thing um, my mom is very big on, uh, and she's forever told us girls, is uh, fake it until you make it. You feel down, you feel angry. Fake it until you make it. You feel down, you feel <laughs> angry, you put a smile on yourself, force it, and immediately you will feel a little bit better. But the other thing I wanted to say is that you're so right on about the communication. And because anger is really not a communication, anger is a reaction. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so, yes. so then, you know, a lot gets lost through anger. Very well said, Esther. That was good. I'm learning from you. Yes. <laughs> um, Excellent. And, and so, so talk a little bit about, you know, let's say you're just starting on this path and you're going to vow not to get angry again. Um, you're not going to have success the first day. Maybe not the second day. How do you keep at it, not give up? Um, you know, I think one of the big things is catching yourself is the important thing. And you, it may be too late. Right, right, right. Well, you know, let me just uh, say again that you cannot, you cannot, it's not possible to never get angry again. Right? right? So that is something that, again and again and again, everybody wants to understand. It's normal and it's natural to get angry, right? Mm -hmm. It is just that our society is not teaching us how to deal. Our parents aren't teaching us how to deal. The teachers aren't teaching us how to deal with it, right? That's why there is so much dysfunctional anger out there. Yeah. Um, but um, yes, yes. So, um, so when the anger comes, um, you want to find that connection to it. So um, the more you work with it for yourself, the greater your success. So if you make it important for yourself, if you really feel like that this is something that you want to conquer for yourself, then um, really work with it and, and go back in memory lane and, and try to remember what it feels like when you get triggered and what actually happens inside of you. Because again, it happens differently for everybody, but mostly it's physical sensation, right? And it's also um, the mind, the mental reaction that almost immediately gets triggered, right? right? When the thoughts, right? The thoughts fuel it. The thoughts turn it into that big 
or that shrinking it and making you believe it's not there, right? So it's the thought. Yes. Um, watch, try to remember, see if you can find how you think your anger thought patterns, right? And so when you get triggered, again, there's nothing wrong about you getting triggered. But here, you know, immediately or see if you can find that, okay, I got triggered. I'm getting triggered. Okay, I'm feeling angry. Okay, right? So the second you acknowledge it to yourself, you're taking charge over yes. it, right? The acknowledgement of it is going to put you above it, right? Very important to remember. And so now once you've acknowledged it, and once you've put yourself above it and yourself in charge, this is now when you can, okay, what, what, remember, okay, lavender is squeezing, I'm so pretty, <laughs> la, 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 right? Lavender like, <laughs> I'm so pretty, lavender is squeezing. <laughs> Breath. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to try out, right? And so here you are. And your mind is probably still into it, and your mind is probably racing, and your mind is probably trying to run away with it. But again, see if you can keep shifting your focus with all these distraction devices that mm -hmm. we've just addressed, right? Because that's really what they yeah. are. They're meant to take your focus away from your mind. It's not going to make you not feel. It takes you away from the wrong thinking. Right? And know that whatever triggered you, um, you will address afterwards, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just know you're taking this time. And so then let's say, let's say you, you're trying, you're trying, but your mind gets the best of you mm -hmm. and you just feel like you're so right. And your mind is justifying your anger and your mind is telling you and then you just can't help yourself and you're, you're letting it rip. Um, see, play with yourself and see if you can even stop yourself while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Right? Or at a minimum, see if you can bring acknowledgement of what you're actually doing while you're doing it. Yes. Right? And so even that is going to set the tone for next time, right? Even though you may feel like, oh, I couldn't do it. It's not for me. This is just who I am. I'm a failure. No, none of it, mm -hmm. right? It's a process. But the more you focus on working with yourself, and the more you make it important, mm. the faster you will be able to catch yourself. Yes. And find ways to own yourself in your self-respect, in your self-worth so much more. Because, you know, in the end, that's all we have. The money is gone. The cars are yeah. gone. The houses are gone. What do you have left? Your self-worth. Your self-respect. What in Right? Empowering, and that is it's imp incredibly empowering feeling that you were able to control yes. yourself and get a hold of yourself and get a hold of your mind. That is so empowering. Um, Britta Teresa says, Absolutely. Um, Hi, Teresa. and hello, everyone watching us live. Um, hello, yes. If if you find it hard to speak out, would it be the same to write it down? Um, yes, you can take that step. That's a very good um, collecting yourself kind of step, right? Because, because if you are having a hard time expressing yourself, then it most likely is even hard for you to even gather your thoughts on it. Yeah. Right? If you're having a hard time expressing yourself, you most likely are having a hard time acknowledging your needs. So for 
that's a great point, by the way, Teresa. I'm so happy you, you brought mm -hmm. that up. Um, you know, for anybody who has a hard time expressing themselves, yes, to write it down is a wonderful, wonderful way to get clear how you're feeling yeah. and why and, and, and what happened and, and, you know, what do I want? What do I need? What am I not getting? Right? So, so to, to really write that down for yourself, but then in the end, you do need to communicate it. Yeah. You know, because the communication, there's something, there's something very, it's almost magical what happens when we learn to communicate assertively. Yes. To communicate our truth assertively. Mm. Not aggressively, no. Oh, yes. Right? Truthful, honest, real. Um, something really, really powerful happens, and it happens on the energetic level, it happens on the emotional level, it happens on the mental level, it manifests into the physical level. When we learn to do that in a balanced, positive way, everything in our life changes. Mm -hmm. We change ourselves. Our DNA begins yeah. to change. Our patterns begin to change. We become, become stronger, more empowered, more self-loving. Because to actually speak your truth in the right way to another person, um, you know, the spoken word manifests, right? And it holds vibration. So how we say things and what we say matters very much in what we're manifesting into our lives yeah. into our world right and so um in every way on every level it is probably one of the most important experiences and exercises to go after yeah. to learn how to communicate properly and, and that would as well relate to being angry at yourself you know, there's the guilt, there's this, that, but, you know, you, I was late to something. I'm so mad at myself. I should have left earlier. I should have planned better. I should have, you know, I can just hear myself, that type of self-talk. And it's important to just don't get mad at yourself yet. Let's, let's see what we can learn from this. Yes, 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 absolutely. And uh, that brings up another very important point, Esther. Um, you know, just imagine when you don't express what's bothering you and you keep suppressing it and you keep suppressing it and you keep suppressing it because you're afraid to speak it, right? Just imagine how that buildup is going to turn to what anger at yourself, too. Yes. Right? Because in the end, you know, then it, it becomes about us. It becomes about ourselves. And the same with the other extreme of getting too aggressive, right? That also will have consequences of guilt and, you know, anger at self. Yes. Yes. Um, Red Nova says identifying triggers can be difficult to... Um, Address that a little bit, um, the triggers. Um, you know, we, we know that certain people will make us mad. <laughs> and so it's like that holiday thing. Um, prepare yourself, go into the bathroom, count to 10, <laughs> right? Prepare yourself. Yes. Um, but. Uh, that's right, that's right. But yeah, yeah go ahead and, and, and sum it up for us. Um, so, so the triggers again, um, it's a good point and I do want to, um, go a little deeper into it. You know, the triggers, um, at different times, different days, um, you're going to be able to hold yourself better than other days, mm -hmm. right? We have stronger and we have weaker days, but if you are able to, um, you know, go into memory lane and just take a peek at the big events where anger was evolved, involved, um, you will find 
similar components. You will find similarities of, of what happened and what it made you feel, right? Um, another thing I want to address is that anger can often also be a defense, right? People can choose anger as right. a defense because they got hurt mm. or they got disappointed, right? Or they feel wrong, they got hurt. Mm. That most of the time will um, spike the anger. And um, obviously, most likely rightfully so, mm -hmm. right? But again, again, um, everything can be communicated in a strong way. Yes, yes. Yes. This one was a really strong one. Really good discussion, Britta. Lavender squeezing. I feel pretty. <laughs> so, Everybody. I feel, I feel pretty. pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. If you missed any part of this, uh, feel free to replay it. Share it with someone who may be angry or share it with someone who may need a little bit of encouragement. Uh, a little nudge of why they should talk about this stuff. Uh, because as Britta said, this can be like a volcano. It can be harmful to, to your body, your soul. Ultimately, it will come out. And share it with someone who may need these tools that Britta talked about. Um, Britta, I'm so glad we had this topic. Um, it's a great one. And I'm looking so. forward to whatever we come up with next week if you guys have any suggestions please facebook britta or myself um the archives are under um, my page as well and thank you britta for a great discussion you're so welcome. thank you and also esther is posting this now on youtube too. yes 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 uh check out the past ones we have forgiveness happiness on youtube and we'll have this one on as well so um really good stuff share it with people who can really use this empowerment so exactly. awesome exactly. awesome yeah. yay thank you everyone for joining <laughs> thank us you so much. thank you britta <laughs> and we'll see you next week for another edition of Empower Yourself with Britta Dubells. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, Esther. Good night, Good night everybody. Bye.